kicked out to HUD. And after the New Jersey Devils dismissed, or relieved, I should say, head co Comets coach Kevin Denis, we're hearing for the first time from the man in charge, the new man in charge. Absolutely. Joining us now in studio with more on the first ever midseason shakeup of the Utica Comets coaching staff is sports director Spencer Davidson. Hey guys, good evening everyone. In a move that surprised many around the organization despite an 08 one start to the season, the parent club decided it was time to turn the page and in doing so, put a new parent in charge of the Utica Comets. Ryan Parent officially took over as interim head coach of the Comets today after the dismissal yesterday of Kevin Deneen, who was relieved of his duties after three plus years at the helm. No stranger to the organization, Parent has served as an assistant coach with the Devils AHL affiliate since 2018 in Binghamton and now gets his shot to take center stage. While it is rare for an organization to part ways with its minor league team's head coach in the middle of the season, uh, the Comets are coming off a year where they were inconsistent and failed to make the playoffs. Now Utica remains the only winless team in the AHL through the first nearly month of this 2024-25 campaign. And after stressing the importance of a good start in training camp just a few weeks ago, the results just weren't there. Speaking publicly for the first time as the main man in charge today, the 37-year-old parent said it's been a, mixed, a day of mixed emotions with the chance for a new beginning and a challenge that both he and the players say they're ready to tackle, but one where Deneen perhaps paid the price of what was a team-wide stumble out of the gates. I owe a lot to Kevin. You know, he's been a good co-worker, good friend, good mentor for me for the last few years, and I respect him a ton, so, um, yeah, you know, there wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot of time. I think after it settles down, there'll be more time for a talk, but, you know, it's just bittersweet. Sorry to see a guy go, but I, I definitely appreciate all that he did for us, for a team, for our staff. And there's lots of emotions from everybody. I've been on the other side of that, being a player with a coach, and it's, uh, it's not a good feeling. I think everybody feels they're sharing part of the responsibility as well, and, but it's important that we're given an opportunity just to be here and work through it, and I think that's an important message for everybody. And we're trying to get excited for the game and doing what we can to prepare best for tomorrow night and you know, doing what's needed for us to, to have success. A parent will make his debut as the head honcho on the bench tomorrow night when the Comets host the Cleveland Monsters. That begins a stretch of three games over the next four nights. Now, coming up at six, we'll hear more from Parent, including what the vibe at practice was like this morning in the aftermath of the shakeup and the areas that the team is focused on improving to find their, the success that they're looking for as the dust now settles. Guys. $10 tickets, by the way, to tomorrow night's Comets game sold out. But there are standing tickets available, which I didn't know existed. You can be allowed into the game, into the building, but you won't have a seat. You can stand in the tunnels or watch from a bar, of course, unless a seat is open and mm -hmm. nobody comes to the game that's I supposed to be sitting in it. I wouldn't tell. But those tickets are $13. <laughs> hey, the city of Utica is going to host the May 2025. It's in partnership with the Utica City FC. The game will be held at the Adirondack Bank Center February 12th. 28 players will be selected to play through player, coach, media, and fan voting. Tickets go on sale December 18th. The burn ban in Otsego County is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And now, from the Ford Sports Station, here's sports director Spencer Davidson. Good evening. In a move that surprised many, despite the tough 8 0 1 start to the season, the Parent Club New Jersey Devils decided that it was time to turn the page for the Utica Comets and, in doing so, put a new parent in charge of their minor league affiliate. Ryan Parent officially took over as interim head coach of the Comets today after the, their dismissal yesterday of Kevin Deneen, who was relieved of his duties after three plus years at the helm. Utica remains the only winless team in the AHL through the first nearly month of this 2024-25 regular season. And that's after stressing the importance of a good start in training camp just a few weeks ago. The results, though, they just weren't there. Speaking publicly for the first time as the main man in charge today, the 37-year-old parent discussed the vibe at practice today after the dust is settling and what he expects from his guys now as they attempt to right the ship. You're in a pretty big hole, but you got to take it game by game. Um, you, we're not even, you know, you, you're not going to get out of it in one night. It's going to be consistent. It's going to be starting right from our foundation and building our way up. And it doesn't even happen game by game. It's each shift, right? So the guys can't look ahead of it. They can't get down. It, we are where we are, and we just have to build on it. I think where we're at as a team, we have a lot of bodies now that are healthy and getting healthier. So 
you know, there's, you can say there's reinforcements, but there's lots of internal competition as well amongst the players, which they see and they know. So that alone will help out with um, how we move, move forward in these next few games. It was an odd feeling, right? Just because of the emotions, I guess, that had gone into the last two days from everybody. But, you know, we're so familiar with the, with the players and with the situations. We have open conversations with everybody, but we have a good idea of who we are as coaches, who, you know, the assistants, myself, with relationships with the leadership group, everything's there. We've ran practices with them before. So there wasn't that, you know, it wasn't like we were a new, new staff coming in, but I thought it was good. I thought there was a, you know, the guys showed tons of energy and I think everyone's just excited to get going tomorrow. Barrett said that he's expecting the biggest difference between the roles will be the need to step back and focus on the big picture as head coach, as opposed to being more hands-on and involved with specific player needs as an assistant. Former Utica Devil Eric Weinrich has been added to the Comets bench to pick up the slack there as an assistant for the remainder of the year. Parents' head coaching debut comes tomorrow night when the Comets host the Cleveland Monsters for Hockey Night in Utica to kick off a stretch of three games in the next four nights. Good news for the Comets today as well, though, as the Devils have assigned defenseman Shimon Nemich to Utica for the first time this season. Possibly some of those reinforcements Parent was talking about. Puck drop tomorrow for $10 ticket night at the Odd is at 7 o'clock. Now coming up tonight at 11 o'clock, Utica... And now, from the Ford Sports Station, here's sports director Spencer Davidson. Good evening, everybody. The hits just keep on coming. To Utica, that is. Our area will once again take center stage in just a few months as the Adirondack Bank Center has been named the host site for the 2025 Major Arena Soccer League All-Star Game. The event will be held at the Odd on February 12th with an All-Star Skills Challenge starting at 6 p.m. Then the All-Star Game itself kicks off at 7.15, followed by a fan fest right after to conclude the festivities. It'll be the first time the MASL holds an All-Star Game since 2020, marking a new era being the first time it's held mid-season. And it will be the third pro All-Star Contest held in Utica overall after the Adirondack Bank Center previously hosted the AHL All-Star Classic in both 2015 and 2018. 28 players from around the league will participate with 22 being announced on January 1st through a combined player, coach and media vote. Then another four will be selected from a fan vote starting on January 2nd and on the 13th. Commissioner himself, Keith Tozer, will select the final two. In a statement released today, Tozer said, This is an exciting event for our fans and one we hope becomes a staple in the MASL calendar year after year. The MASL Pro Player Combine hosted by Utica in 2023 was first class, and we are looking forward to returning for this inaugural event. Tickets go on sale for UCFC season ticket holders on December 2nd and for the general public on December 18th. UCFC, meanwhile, opens their season on December 13th on the road against the Empire Strikers. Their home opener is the 29th against the Harrisburg Heat. Well, in a move that surprised many around the organization, despite an 08-0-1 record to start the season, the parent club New Jersey Devils decided it was time to turn the page for the Utica Comets coaching staff, and in doing so, put a new parent in charge of the Comets. Ryan Parent officially took over as interim head coach of the Comets today after the dismissal yesterday of Kevin Denit, who was relieved of his duties after three plus years at the helm. Utica remains the only winless team in the AHL through the first nearly month of the season after the team stressed the importance of a good start in training camp just a few weeks ago. Now, speaking publicly for the first time as the main man in charge today, the 37 year old Parent said he wants the team to become one that's hard to play against in all three zones of the ice. Also said it's not going to happen overnight and that they're going to build a foundation for success. He also discussed the vibe at practice this morning in his first in charge of the organization. It was an odd feeling, right, just because of the emotions, I guess, that had gone the last two days from everybody. But, you know, we're so familiar with the, with the players and with the situations. We have open conversations with everybody. But we have a good idea of who we are as coaches, who, you know, the assistants, myself, with relationships with the leadership group. Everything's there. We've ran practices with them before. So there wasn't that, you know, it wasn't like we were a new, new staff coming in. But I thought it was good. I thought there was a, you know, the guys showed tons of energy. And I think everyone's just excited to get going tomorrow. 
Now, Parent says he's expecting the biggest difference between the roles that he's now had will be the need to step back and focus more on the big picture as head coach, as opposed to being more hands-on and involved with specific player everyday needs as an assistant. Former Utica Devil Eric Weinrich has been added to the Comets bench to pick up the slack as an assistant for the remainder of the year. Parents' head coaching debut comes tomorrow night when the Comets host the Cleveland Monsters for Hockey Night in Utica to kick off a stretch of three games in the next four nights. Good news for the Comets today, though, is the Devils have assigned defenseman Shimon Nemitz to Utica. Possibly some of those reinforcements parents were talking parent was talking about. Puck drop tomorrow for $10 ticket night is at 7 o'clock. The section